another violent weekend in Memphis, city leaders say they will tackle gun control even if it goes against state law. But what can they really do here locally and will it lead to any solutions to a problem that many say is just out of control? Tonight, WRG's Alex Coleman talks with council members about what they're proposing for voters. From Harbortown to Biscayne Road, and near Perkins and I-240, there's an outcry for city leaders to do something after yet another weekend of gun violence in Memphis. We have There's an outcry for city leaders to do something after yet another weekend of violence in Memphis. So for all the people that are saying, oh, gun laws in Tennessee are their uh, outcry for <laughs> the people to do something about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so let's 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 keep that in in um let's let's keep it real, man. Just to a problem that many say is just out of control. Tonight, WRG's Alex Coleman talks with council members about what they're proposing for voters. From Harbortown to Biscayne Road and near Perkins and I-240, there's an outcry for city leaders to do something after yet another weekend of gun violence in Memphis. We have a problem with violence, and, and everyone knows that, but it's all connected with guns. And I believe that it's so important that we get gun control in our city. Alex, that's the most important point. Just over this past weekend, crime is now getting, has gone completely out of control. To so crime is completely out of control. Okay, listen to the way the way they talk. Just listen to this. What this guy say is just out of control. Out of control. Important point. Just over this past weekend, crime is now getting has gone completely out of control. To okay, so <laughs> in Jaws State, where he lives, where he played basketball at, gun crime is completely out of control. <laughs> okay. And he running around listening to NBA young boy who's talking about gun violence. The lyrics he's listening to while he's flashing guns are talking about gun violence. NBA young boy is not talking about taking down a fucking buck from fucking a hundred yards away, man. Dear. He's talking about fucking shooting some goddamn sun word in the head over some bullshit. At a gas station. It's obviously poverty, Ank. I think it's right. poverty. Facts. Completely out of control. Tuesday, the Memphis City Council will begin considering whether to approve two gun control ballot referendums. They would allow Memphians to vote on whether handguns should be outlawed in the city limits without permits and whether the sale. They're talking about whether handguns should be outlawed without permits in the city limits. Totally pointless. Control ballot referendums. You say that's totally pointless. Why is that totally pointless? Because the people who they're supposed to be targeting with these laws ain't going to give a shit about them. So the, the permits. Yes, no, no, but you can enforce it. You have constitutional carry where I can walk around with a fucking extendo clip hanging out my waistband. I can walk in Kroger's like that to where you can in, you can now enforce it. What are you talking about, Marcy? Because well, when, when you permits... You can't enforce it now. The law will make it to where you can't enforce it. If you see a son man with a fucking ex, the Glock with an extendo clip hanging out his waistband and yeah. fucking you can go, a cop can go up to him and ask him for his fucking permit you can't do that now it's constitutional carry what are you talking about man well for, well, for one they have to see it first unless they want to bring unless they're going to bring back stop and frisk in, in memphis oh, God. but they can't they might see it though right i mean that's the whole idea that uh we're, we're, we're moving that tool from the from the pigs to be able to even engage these violent Fucking super gremlins, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, man, Marcy, I get you two way, and you, you, you kind of like those Democrats. You're programmed to say certain shit when it comes to guns. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna, you, you, you just, 
the, you uh, guns come up, you say this. It's right. a formula. Right. But what I'm saying though is like gun violence is out of control. Yeah. And I honestly it's, think Alec Masi in his heart of hearts knows that you're right. Yeah, he but he has to say that though. He's he's um you know. And he, my master no. can lie to you, but he can't. He can lie. He can't lie to me, but he can lie to some. <laughs> no, no, yeah. that, that's that's not. No, that's not the case. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking as if I if I were a criminal in Memphis, I'm not gonna. Well, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna break the law in Memphis, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna be smart about it. So if I'm gonna commit any crimes, I guess if it if it if it applies only to the borders of Memphis, then I guess Memphis, Tennessee. Then I guess I have to make an escape route outside the city, outside city but, limits. Whenever I want to do my whenever I want to do my crime. Yeah, no, but a lot of the time these guys don't really think that far ahead. Yeah, they, really don't, they don't leave their neighborhood, Marcy. They don't leave their side of town. What are you talking about? Anyway, man, I don't think you understand the dynamics, man. Right. It's not like it's these are not this is not Thoreau and T. S. Eliot you're talking about, man. This is Ugga Bugga, man. Okay? Fuck is you talking about, man? Tuesday, the Memphis City Council will begin considering whether to approve two gun control ballot referendums. They would allow Memphians to vote on whether handguns should be outlawed in the city limits without permits and whether the sale of assault rifles should be banned in Memphis. But they would also conflict with state law. I don't normally agree with setting aside separate rules and regulations and ordinances for separate counties. But in this case, we're having a problem in Memphis. Okay. I don't normally agree with setting separate laws for different counties against mm -hmm. state laws, but in this case, Memphis, Tennessee, and Shelby County, and we've got to get these guns out of the wrong hands. This is your right to keep and bear arms, and I am concerned that this is the slippery slope towards banning all handguns, and, and we see that that clearly doesn't work. State law says laws passed by local governments regarding firearms are preempted by state law. Our charter tells us that we are responsible for the health and welfare and safety of our citizens. And if we're not being protected by our state, then we have to step up and do what we need to do. Governor Bill Lee has called a special session on potential gun reform laws for August 21st. But Memphis lawmakers say the time to take action is now. I look forward to the conversation and the public feedback on requiring a permit to carry. I think that this would be a very good conversation uh, in terms. But let's remember that most crimes are committed with illegal handguns. We are not trying. To and that's what Marcy's talking about. But here's the thing. Constitutional carry makes some men more bolder and brazen. And it makes them carry more. In D.C., every dude ain't carrying. In D.C., every thug ain't carrying. And you saw the stats for D.C. the other night. Seven shootings a day. Damn. I remember I saw that. Hey, in, hey. in a city where most, where 90% of the thugs are not carrying during the day. Wasn't there like five different shootings, like, you know, five-minute span or some shit? Yeah. But but the average DC goon on his block, his gun is in the bushes, on a porch, or in a rolled up paper bag, so it looked like trash in the, in laying in by a bush somewhere, or it's in his car, or it's in a fucking like by the storm drain or something. He's not gotten that thing on him because if the jump outs come, mm. it's over. Yeah, because so, 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 so the guys law, because because hold on, no, because if he gets caught with it in District of Columbia without a permit, he's going to jail for the night. If you, if you get That's... no, 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 but you, 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 you may go for the night or whatever, but they go, they are, they, you, you get a couple of those, man. They, they smoke dudes boots for that for getting mm. caught with guns. Dude, dudes, dudes are scared. Dudes, whenever you see a DC case, watch how many times the dude tosses the gun. Mm. Watch how many times they find the gun. We found the gun near the scene. The guy, the guy ran and threw so that motherfucker. His so path was flat. So, so they're not yeah. that stupid. Nah, but Masi, that was a hey, Masi. That was funny as shit. You said. 
you think that you try you try to think from their perspective and that you try to be smart no bro i'm sorry this ain't that was funny look but like it's, it's not but they're not, that, it's, but, but they're, it, but they're not that stupid they still they still know enough to not get caught with it no but here's the thing which you're also missing i i mean obviously they're not that stupid yes i'll give you that but here's what also you're not considering it's not just that they have the gun it's also that they got priors they got hella priors. Yeah. They probably might be on probation. It, it's not just yeah. the gun in and of itself. It's it's that plus they got extra priors. So it's just stupid to just be living that life, period. So you yeah. that at best you're making the worst of a dumb situation. You're making the best of a worst of a dumb situation. I mean, it's not yeah, you should and, just stop doing crime. <laughs> and a lot of these guys hang with in blocks and they hang with crews that have beef. And they have to carry the firearm for their protection, or they feel they have to carry the firearm for the protection. But there's a lot of guys in African America that carry just for the sake of carrying. They ain't no beef. They ain't about to bust a grape. You could probably fucking smack the shit out of them with the gun on them. Yeah. Those guys in DC, they not carrying because it's such a stiff penalty. So if you make that law in Memphis, you'll have less people carrying and therefore thus less crime. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't mean that murders are going to go down to zero. It just means if you have, let's just say, 400 murders a year in Memphis now, right? With this new law, you may get down to 320. You may get down to even 300 in a couple years. And that's hundreds of lives saved. That's thousands of lives saved over the course of a decade. Hey, I, I did want to say, brother, think about how fucked these people are, right? Hear what they're saying. They're saying we want to straight their laws. We want the cops to enforce these laws. But at the same time, we don't want them to, to use force or enforce the laws. And when, when they apprehend it, we don't want them to be punished because we can't arrest our way out of this problem. And if you cross the line with force, you're going to jail for 20 years. So think right. about exit. Think about how fucked they are. They're yeah. fucked. It's right. just fucked up. It's just fucked up. And these, these people, but that it's fucked up. But they're fucked up worse with the gun shit, and they gotta handle it. Handgun. We are not trying to take away anyone's right to bear arms. We are trying to make sure that the people who don't need the guns in their hands, don't have an opportunity. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Now, if approved by city council members, the ordinance questions would be placed on the ballot for a referendum August 1st of next year. So the earliest they can attack this is August 1st of next year. So it's May of this year. The earliest time... They will be able to not change the law, but just have a referendum on the ballot is in 16 months. It never works. It's the same. No, but the what, 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 are they, what are they going to pass a law that they expect criminals to, to abide by? Yeah, but they have constitutional carry now. So you have to understand when you have, con there's no law. A no, law no, is not, always not, better than no law. It's not true. It's not true. It's still it's still prohibited for fe anyone with a felony record to be carrying a gun. Okay, so yeah, but the cops think, can't engage you. Yeah, but how yeah. would they know? How they would they know? Engage if they're yeah, wrong, once they, they would have to they would have, to have prob they would have to have probable cause to do that to to search to stop a search yeah, anybody. Yeah, but if you get rid of that gun, that gun shit, that is the probable cause. What? So wait, who's gonna 